Hello and welcome to another episode of Monkey Build here on the Jenny Kirk channel. And this week we're talking about a rather nice replacement topper for your lo old locomotives from Nwens 3D. And it's uh, in the livery of Cadbury Bourneville. So let's see how it got on. <laughs> Now, on this channel, we have covered Enwins 3D before. They make a rather large variety of products from 3D uh, printed locomotive toppers to decals you can put onto your locomotives to fully built, uh, ready to go, ready for you to decorate uh, layouts, essentially. So they've got a wide variety of products, and this time we're looking at a locomotive topper. We have covered a locomotive topper in the past, and the way to start with these is to take your 3D print and then to cover it in a kind of primer. Now normally I use a Volvo primer that Jen happened to have because it's uh, worthwhile to use what you've got but Jen wants to use that for a project on the Volvo so I got myself some Wilkinson's standard white primer. It's fairly cheap, it does the job but it is quite watery so instead of having to do three coats of primer with sanding every time you've let the primer dry we needed four, and to be honest with you, I probably could have done a fifth coat as well if I wanted it really, really smooth for a finish, but that's just how it is. It does the job, you just have to realise that you have to go at it a few more times than otherwise would have. So once you've got that done, and you've got it properly primed and sanded down, make sure that it's uh, sanded down after every use of the primer, and then it will really grip your paints. You can start with the painting. Now, because this is a Cadbury's Bourneville locomotive, I went for a kind of... Uh, maroon livery and it's it come out quite well. I think it came out really nicely. It looks beautiful. The majority of it painted straight on with the maroon and I could have uh, used a different uh, shade for the roof. I wasn't entirely sure what the roof colour would look like because from the photographs I could find it wasn't uh, top down. But I decided I wanted to go for an all over maroonish colour. It's kind of maroony, kind of reddy and it ended up looking rather nice. Took a while to paint, took several uh, layers of paint in fact. I did one just to get the colours all over and then another to really make it pop and then a final coat just to make sure. You could use two, I thought I'll just make sure with three. Then I went all in for black for the front face of the locomotive and for the funnel and also for the boiler head inside the cab. Around the boiler head and for the rest of the cab I went for, uh, it's like a creamy ivory colour because I thought it would pop quite nicely. Looks pretty good. Again, I couldn't get any photographs that showed what the colour on the inside of the cab was for the original locomotive, so I made my choice and I went for this uh, creamy uh, ivory colour. And I think it looks rather good. It certainly stands out compared to the boiler head. So you make your choice and you do what you want, but that's how I went for it. And then as a final finishing touch, I decided that the best thing to do was just to highlight the hinges and the arrow on the front face. You don't have to do that, but I thought they would stand out a little bit more and look really cool if I just did a kind of dry brush effect to highlight those. And again, it's your choice. I, I don't know whether you really need that, but I thought it made it stand out quite nicely. Then, final touch, of course, because the original livery has the uh, brass ring around the top of the funnel, so that's what I've got on mine as well. And at the end of it, it looks really nice. So we end up with really nicely painted and it looks like it pops out. It's very, very flattering for a livery. I actually quite like that. It's a very nice livery. And as you can see, it does make the front face look a little bit uh, highlighted. But of course, now you can see on the sides, we have the decals. Now the decals, they're an extra thing. You can pick them up from Enwins 3D and they look great. They come just in a little packet and it's two strips, one for either side of the locomotive. It's got the lining on it already so you don't have to worry about that. I, I know that a few people had a few issues with the way I did my lining on the previous uh, Enwins 3D build but to be honest with you I haven't got the steadiest of hands and the technique I was attempting with that one didn't work so yeah I, I could have done it a lot better. 
just how it is. But this time I didn't have to worry because the lining was part of the decal and it came out really, really nicely. So did the Cadbury's Bourneville lettering, which is also part of the decal. All one thing, so all you have to do is put it into the water, get the decal off and slide it into place. Be very careful with it because it's a decal, it's a big decal. It can crease, it can rip if you're not careful. We've all been there, we've all made the mistake of accidentally ripping a decal before. But if you're careful and you take your time, you can place it on and it'll stick in place and it'll cling to the paintwork and it'll look fantastic. At the end, I think it came out very, very nicely. So, all in all, the decals from Edwin's 3D look amazing. The 3D printed topper is fantastic. It's easy to work with, and I can't recommend it highly enough. I think we've got a really nice thing here. It's a lovely looking locomotive in the end, and I'm very pleased to have actually put it together myself which is a little bit of those things. You, you, you feel like you've achieved something. I've got something as the end result that looks fantastic and we'll have we'll have a lot of fun with that on the layout. So yeah, full marks to Enwin's 3D. Very, very happy with the end result. Okay, that's all we've got time for this week. So thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have enjoyed this. And if you did, remember to click that like button, share this with your friends so that they'll know a good model to give a try themselves. And I'll see you next time for another Monkey Build. Jen will, of course, be back on Monday with the Monday Club. And we'll see you then. Bye-bye. I'd like to send out a huge thanks to everybody who supports me on Patreon. And an extra special huge thanks goes out to Anthony Kidson, Offshore Allen, OORail.co.uk, Michael Lockie, Helen Sink, Peter Bolton, Brian and Dorothy Mudd, Gary Lewis, David Quinn, Sparky107107, George Botterini, Chris Moss, Robert Steers, MD of San Juan Model Company and Grantline Products, Sam Yates, Dale Williams, John N. from NC, NYMR-ish, Jonathan Foster, Peter, Graham Foster, Clifford Ison, Larry W. Grant, NI Railways 4000 Class, Ian Coulson, and Alan Dickerson. Thank you. Without you guys, I couldn't do this.